بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بالإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد I'm your presenter Oz Omar Al-Jamaiki and uh, we are discussing in this program the Iman and those things that affects one Iman whether in a positive way or in a negative way and we are concerned regarding those things that affects one Iman in a positive way so the Muslim can increase his Iman and strengthen his Iman and also for the Muslim to be aware of certain factors and things that may affect his Iman in a negative way so as he can stay away from these affairs and this is the purpose of Iman for one always seeking to increase his Iman as this will gain one closer to Allah and also raise one status with Allah and uh, as we have discussed the definition of Iman as to what is Iman by definition next thing that we have to be aware of concerning Iman is what's the importance of Iman and the importance of Iman is one is unable to enter Jannah ex until one is a believer so these are the criteria these are the conditions laid down for one to enter Jannah one must have Iman and Iman in Allah and his Prophet and those things that we are taught by Islam so Iman is of the things Iman is of the requirements that is required for one to enter Jannah. And as the Prophet, peace be upon him, I mentioned the hadith where it says that, that none of you enter Jannah until you believe. So no one can enter Jannah until he has a uh, acquired Iman. And the Iman that is <coughs> required for the Muslim to, fulfill, uh, to, be, uh, to bear and to believe in is the Iman laid down by Islam. That the Muslim, he believes in those things that Allah have made compulsory upon the Muslim to believe in, in a correct way. So having correctness in belief is the condition for one to enter Jannah, paradise. And this Iman also will protect us from, of those who enter the Al-Fire. So the person, the importance of Iman in this life and in the next, that the Muslim who have Iman and live by the tenets of Iman and the principle of Iman, that he'll find in this life a success. And also, he'll gain success in the next life. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, has mentioned in the hadith, we have mentioned in Bukhari and others, that none of you enter Jannah, paradise, until you have acquired Iman, in the correct way. So the Muslim have to look to what are the things that are attached to uh, Iman, as regarding its foundations, also its maintenance, and also those things that is required regarding our behavior and our conduct. As, as we mentioned before, all of these things are at, uh, attached and uh, a part of Iman. So the Muslim must be conscious of this, that after a testifying to the oneness of Allah and believing in those things that Allah requires for us to believe in and acting upon Islam, then this will give us that ticket that we may enter paradise by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are the things that show the importance of Iman. And in the same chapter of the Quran that was mentioned before that small chapter that has this great meaning where some of the ulama of Islam such as Imam Shafi rahimahullah may Allah have mercy upon him had mentioned that if we were to ponder over this chapter alone we'll reap much and great benefit because of the message that is uh, contained in this chapter where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in English well us by time because of the importance that time old our life and our death, it's centered around time. So time has a great importance in Islam. Something to be used correctly and in a way which is beneficial. Not to be used in a manner without, that will be of no benefit. So the Muslim have to be conscious of time. Inna al-insana la fi khus. Indeed, mankind, and this is all of mankind, is in a state of lost. A state of destruction. Then it mentioned those who are exempted from this. Whom are they? What are these description? Illa ladina amanu. Except for those who believe. So the first requirement for one to be exempted from those who are lost is one attaining and having iman. And iman, what are the things that is expected to believe, a Muslim to believe in? In his art fully, internally and externally of the thing that the Muslim must believe in and act upon is Islam 
in a holistic manner, in an holistic way. So the thing that we are to believe in, we believe in. And this is a part of our iman, our faith. And likewise, the thing that we are to act upon and fulfill from our action, then these things are to be fulfilled outwardly. So iman composes of things that are internal and things that are external. Things that are in, uh, inwards and things that are outwards. Inward affairs, things regarding our belief. Belief in Allah, His messengers, His prophets, uh, the day of judgment, and other aspects of affairs of Iman that is attached to our art. And also, Iman is also our deeds. The Muslim praying, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Except for those who believe and they perform righteous deeds. So these are the people who are exempted from destruction. The Muslim who have correct belief. The Muslim who do righteous deed. The Muslim who is upright in his conduct. So these are the things that Allah requires from the believers regarding his belief and him being saved from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment and wrath. That he looks to is Islam and his belief. And always seek to improve and to raise it so that he may be a righteous servant. As the purpose of our existence is to worship Allah, to be subservient to Allah, to submit and to obey Allah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned another pa'a in the Quran, uh, that when he mentioned concerning that, ma khalaqtu wal jinn wal ins illa liyabudun, that we have not created. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created mankind for a purpose. What, what is this purpose? To worship Allah. We have created mankind and the jinn to establish my worship. So this is the purpose of man, to understand who is his Lord and to worship his Lord. And first it requires the person to have belief and faith in Allah. So the importance of Iman is that it's of the condition for one to enter Jannah. None of you enter Jannah, paradise, until you believe. So the Muslim have to look all the time, constantly, reviewing his Iman. Is my Iman improving? Is my faith improving? Or is it, decre uh, is it decreasing and weakening? And if it is improving, then he seek to continue this, to strengthen his Iman. And if it is decreasing, then he needs to review himself and to find why is my Iman decreasing and seek how to remove himself from this harmful state. So the Muslim is required to look at his Iman constantly, to review himself. And this is the benefit of Iman, that always allow the Muslim to review and to monitor, monitor one's own action. Am I becoming closer to Allah? Or am I becoming more disobedient to Allah and going away from Allah? And my Iman is decreasing. And when Iman improves and, decre and increase, the servant, he become more obedient to Allah. He become more for, uh, he becomes more hasty in fulfilling righteous deeds. And this is demonstrated in his action and his general affairs. And when a person iman decreases, the person he becomes more away from Islam. And he becomes more disobedient to Allah. And it reaches a point where a person could actually after a while he turns, he turns his back on Islam. And this is an evil state that we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection from this. So Iman is of importance that we always review our Iman. As this will give us an indication as to our place with Allah and our obedience to Allah and also the position that we have in Islam. So Iman, it carries these in our importance. It's a condition to enter Jannah and also it protects us from the hellfire, and also it's a measurement for our own personal lifestyle. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.